Aspera crassa, grown in a beaker. Eric Wiest works in one of the moldiest places on earth. It's pretty and orange. You get to know it, you get to love it. 50 years ago, research with this species of bread mold helped two scientists earn the Nobel Prize for a breakthrough in genetics. The mold is one of more than 70,000 fungal strains stored in the University of Missouri, Kansas City lab. Scientists at the Fungal Genetics Stock Center send strains of fungi to researchers all over the world. And these are still viable. They're 60 years old. We have strains that were developed in the 40s and the 50s that people are now ordering and uh, uh, using in their laboratories for, for research purposes. UMKC scientists protect the strains and keep them pure. Who knows what discoveries will be made in the future? Fungi are crucial for the production of drugs such as penicillin and vaccines. The Stock Center is uh, somewhat like a museum and a library. We're not a center that's filled with dusty tubes. No, this type of research is definitely growing. Fungi are everywhere and used in everything that people might not realize, such as uh, baking bread and, most more importantly, brewing beer. And delicious, I might add. Fungi grow quickly, don't take up much space, and share characteristics with both plants and animals. That makes fungi useful to scientists studying many genetic processes. Fungi um, can cause lethal disease as well, particularly in immunocompromised people. Um, people with organ transplants are on immunosuppressive drugs. The fungal strains are safely stored at the center, ready to play a part in future discoveries. The world of fungi is huge and uh, we're a small part of it, but we feel like we're, we play an important role in fungal research. From the University of Missouri, I'm Kent Faddis reporting. In one gene of Neurospora, and there's a hundred in this rack.